gosh. <laughs> he made sure to take his headphones <laughs> off too. <laughs> Good. Smart man. All right, guys. Welcome back to another video. My name is Matt. Today, I'm here with you know who. The man, the myth, the legend. Jay Millie Money Martinez. Now, you guys asked him some questions on Instagram. And we took the 10 best ones. And we're going to answer them. So, I'm going to ask Jamil these questions. This is going to be a good time. Before we dive in, you got anything to say? Hey, guys, if you're looking for a video where you actually give a... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't worry, guys. We'll edit that out. We'll edit that out. This is just a really raw, uncensored, filtered video of me. And I'm really just going to do my best to just answer as honestly as possible. So if you're not looking for the honest, harsh truth, then click away from this video. With that, let's get into it. There's been some good, there's some good questions here. So, all right. What is the best way to sauce up una bitty? That's easy. I got y'all. Please. That's sauce right here. Please. This is the sauce. This is the secret please, sauce. Please, please, please. You have a burning desire and I have, I have the solution. a burning desire and you have the All right. solution. Alright, so I'll send you the invoice right now. <laughs> okay, so what you need to do is you gotta find the girl that you like. Uh, you gotta lock your eyes on the target. And then you just gotta befriend her whole friend group. And then she can never not see you. She's just gonna see you everywhere, and then all of, if and then if she you're friends with all of her friends, then then all her friends are gonna be like, oh my god, I love Matt. Like Matt's the best. Isn't Matt the best? She's gonna be like, and then she's like, why am I always thinking about Matt? And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then and then next thing you know, she's just like, I think I'm in love with him. <laughs> and then it's like you just subconsciously entered her brain. It's like easy, easy bag. That's fire. That's a clip. Clip that. That's, that. You're going viral for that one. <laughs> subscribe to your boy Jay Millie or link down below. Also subscribe to Matt. I'll also have him linked in all his socials. And uh, next time that we have a Q&A, maybe your question could be answered. Now all my girlfriends got to be like, which one of us does he like? <laughs> one of the questions that I asked you, which is what has been your most life changing moment so far? I have a lot. Hit me with the first one that comes to mind. The first one that comes to mind, just because it's also, just because I looked deep into your soul and it reminded me of it, <laughs> was when we went and we lived in Costa Rica for a month. Mm. Um, shout out to Costa Rica. I love you. But um, I think it was such a life-changing moment for me because I was kind of going through a lot of just turmoil in my soul. I was kind of just going through it. And... Contrary to popular belief, most people would think, oh, like, you got to work harder. If things are hard, just work through it. Um, but we kind of, like, did the opposite, and we kind of just took a vacation. Of course, mm. we worked, but um, we kind of did the opposite of what most people might deem safe, and we just went to a different country, and we just kind of, like, worked from there, and we connected with a lot of other people in the space there, and... What was your biggest takeaway from that trip? I mean, that's a good question. I think the biggest takeaway um, is to just let things flow. You know, nothing in life is temporary, uh, which, is, a, which is, is great. If you think about it, it sounds a little bit sad that nothing in life is temporary. But um, that means that if there's something great happening, you know, it's like enjoy it because it's not going to always be there. And if there's something really bad happening, it's like fuck it maybe enjoy that too because yeah. that's the hu raw human experience and it's not going to be bad forever i think like just the the yoga and the surfing and the acai bowls that kind of got me on that flow vibe so 100%. for sure that who would you like to work with i think the first person that comes to mind of who i would like to work with is probably jay alvarez um he's the first influencer that i would watch his youtube videos before i was really like working and like doing my own thing like i would go to work at like a juice bar i used to work at a juice bar in south beach and uh, i would watch his youtube videos before i would go to work just like him surfing him like living a, the dream lifestyle and i was just like yo like that's gonna be me one day and i think that like repetition is probably what's and been ingrained into my subconscious to have mm. this current reality that we're in now which 100%. is 100% that so probably Jay Alvarez I have a follow up question to that too so you've met Jay Alvarez right? yeah I did meet Jay Alvarez what, what was he like in person? Uh, well when I met Jay Alvarez um, 
I, I kind of just like didn't really come prepared with anything to say. Uh, so I just kind of like pulled up. He was at the skate park uh, near my house and we just pulled up and he was there with one of his boys. Um, and I really was just like there vibing with him. I didn't even really say anything to him, but you didn't talk to him at all. Like, no, not really. Actually. I mean, like, obviously like we dabbed each other up and I was just like, yo, like you're dope. Like fuck with you. Yeah. Um, but honestly it was just kind of like, I like your shit. And he was just like skating and stuff. And he was with a girl too. So like, I wasn't going to like, you took, you took some pictures. Right? Yeah. We took some pictures together and stuff. So that's fine. Yeah, I mean, I think, like, uh, I probably didn't talk to him enough or meet him enough to really know, like, what he's really like in person. Sure, sure. That's cool, though. What's something illegal that you'd want to do? Something illegal that I'd want to do? I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is, like, rob a bank. <laughs> is that wrong? <laughs> but if it's, like... It but ain't it, right. But is it, like, illegal because it, it would temporarily be legal? Because then in that case, it wouldn't be as fun because there wouldn't be any cops chasing me or anything. How about something that's illegal, that is illegal, but you want to do? Still rob a bank. Still, <laughs> <laughs> Still rob a bank. Like, imagine, like, the... You would have to finesse everyone, like, past security. It's not even about the money. It's about the finesse. It's about, I mean, it's just about the experience. It's like you would have to put together a killer team. Mm. You know, not everyone could crack the code or negotiate with the bank teller or talk to the manager in just the right way. It's like, it's a lot of different skill sets that That's required. That's a very, very good point. You have to be very skilled to rob a bank. Yeah. That's a good point. You got to have a lot of different skill sets. If you had all the money in the world... From this bank that you just robbed <laughs> and you had to start a business what would it be uh, probably the business that i have now an influencer talent agency really or you just all the money in the world yeah a talent agency why uh, just because you get to be around like the most looked up to sought after people in the world mm. um and i'm sure there could be a lot to learn from having what everyone thinks is the goals of life which is tremendous amounts of popularity or money or you know like all the women or for guys or for girls like girls having all the money you know what i mean it's like there's probably a lot to learn from the people that have everything because mm. i'm sure it's you learn really quickly that it's not really it's really not everything that's a that's a really interesting point actually it makes a lot of sense if you could go back in time when and where would you go and why before crypto spiked and I just put hella money in Bitcoin. <laughs> Honestly, the best answer yeah. anybody could have given. I would just, I would just put, I would just like get hella cash, guys. Everyone, I'd be the best salesman. Like, be the I would be the best salesman. I'd be like, everyone, put your fucking money into Bitcoin right now. <laughs> That's great. Plans for the future. I mean, really, like plans for the future for me is to keep doing what I'm currently doing. I think uh, that's a really basic ass answer, but I mean, I think that just goes to show that I'm really in alignment with what I want to be doing like 10 years from now, which is like growing a brand, building a personal brand, as well as like a business brand, building this business, uh, t working with talent. What do you see as different five years from now? If your work is the same, what do you imagine is gonna be different? Probably, um, the people that I surround myself with, probably the experiences that I experience on a day-to-day -day basis. You ain't gonna surround yourself with me no more? You gonna blow up at night like you don't know nobody, huh? <laughs> you gonna come with me? Man, you know I'm coming. We going to Bali? Fuck everyone. Fuck all y'all. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, definitely. Yo, you're so allowed to come. All right. I'm so allowed okay. So keep doing the same thing, but the experiences will change. The circle will continue to grow and change. Yeah, and I guess that was kind of like a boring yeah. answer. Success is a motherfucking drug, dog. But I'm starting Instagram Reels. You got any advice you can give me? Okay, well, you see, that's an interesting first sentence to your question. He's framing it. You're framing it and as in success. Thing. Like it's like success is a bad thing in your eyes. So that you already fucked up, respectfully. You fucked up because you're viewing success as a bad thing. So subconsciously, you're never going to want to achieve it. So if you want to find success in anything, start with viewing it as a good thing. 
Otherwise, why the fuck would you want it? And then if you want to do reels, then just film everything and do trips like this. Or obviously, you know, start with what you got. Like, get your boys who are... I think the best thing you can do is surround yourself with other people who want to also do content. Um, or just, like, have the same aspirations in you as you in general. Because it gets lonely. The journey gets lonely. And surrounding yourself with people that can motivate you, but you can also learn from, um, I think, is probably the first step in the first big step in achieving anything but you spit in reels in general is just like just shoot content every it's a day really good point though about subconsciously destroying your potential for success because you view it as a negative thing and you oh, don't yeah. attract negative things you attract positive things super mm -hmm. interesting mm -hmm. last question That's it? but not least oh sure okay. head or heart head always i don't think she means like you know head head always but you know what she means. I know what she means. Okay. You're, well, you're saying it like a sleazy slime bag. You <laughs> are you you are asking it like one. <laughs> I'm, I'm projecting. Yeah. Um, Brain or heart? Yeah, I mean, just you gotta think. You gotta be able to think. I mean, even if they have a fucked up heart. I mean, I think heart? you got. I think you gotta be able to do both, right? Like duality. You only get to pick one. Fuck that. Then head. If I only get to pick one, then head. Because if you always base what you're doing based on how you're feeling, then you're fucked the second that you don't feel good about something, even though it's something that you need to do. So I will always choose rational, logical thought over just like following the emotions that come and go. So that's why I say head mm. always. Interesting. Of course, like, don't get me wrong, emotion will propel you and will push you forward and will not even push you, it will pull you. That's definitely where the power of emotion, um, but, you know, since I can only choose one. That's a spot on answer. I think I disagreed, but after you answered, now I agree. So, Yo guys, I got a favor to ask because he's here to give away the sauce. He's here to help you guys grow. He's here to help you guys go to the next like, level, but I need like, you to subscribe. Like, subscribe. Like. like Comment, subscribe, like, like comment, comment, subscribe. Are those all the questions?